but we're thrilled to be opening our 50th shop here at uh, White City Westfield. Uh, it's the largest uh, shopping centre in Europe now with the extension that's just being opened tomorrow. Uh, and so we're thrilled to be a part of it. Uh, but this shop it represents the latest in all our thinking about the modern department store. How much of the revenues in this store are going to be derived from actually selling goods as opposed to services and experiences? Well, we've got a full 23 services in this shop. So we believe that shops of the future are less about fulfillment and just transactions, and they're more about service, experience, uh, leisure time. Uh, so whether it is the spa and the, and the beauty treatments, whether it's the styling studio, whether it's the demonstration kitchen just uh, uh, near where we are now, uh, whether it's uh, the expert bookable partners that you can get to give you uh, lessons in the discovery room on your new tech. There's all sorts of great stuff going on here that make this more than just a shop. A lot of what you've got in this store is very, very upmarket. It feels almost like you're competing not necessarily with other traditional retailers, but with boutiques. Yeah, to, to some extent that's right, but we, we sell a vast array of products uh, across all sorts of price points, so we believe we're excellent value for money, but we're trying to also create an environment that means that you want to spend a day out here and, and, and really experience this shop, and so the environment needs to feel really luxurious and indulgent. I mean, retailers have been talking for quite a long time about offering services and experience in their stores. The execution has quite often fallen short of expectations. How come you're convinced you'll get it right here? Well, one of the things that makes John Lewis really different is the ownership model of our business. So everybody who works in a John Lewis owns this business. Uh, and we've uh, spent a lot of money uh, and uh, resources training partners to uh, be able to deliver this new, the new skills required of retail today. Uh, and we're genuinely very excited about that. We've got a fantastic group of 500 new partners here who will go the extra mile for you. And everyone here has been trained by people from the National Theatre. What was that all about? Well, we think uh, the theatre of retail it has never been more important, but we really want to uh, have partners who engage confidently uh, with our customers to provide them the, the expertise and the inspiration that customers want from us. So theatre training just enables partners to build their self-confidence, their voice and body language skills, uh, and the reaction to it has been fantastic. And you're also rolling out some new brands here that haven't been seen in this country before. Yeah, well, we're particularly excited about Madewell, which is a, a first launch on UK soil for, uh, for, for, for customers at John Lewis. Uh, but actually, this is all about creating a, a reason to come into a physical space, a, a reason to come to John Lewis for the exclusive uh, brands that we have, the emerging brands that are, are never seen anywhere else, and, of course, the development of our own brands, which uh, provide something really targeted for our customers. Yeah, you're aiming for 50% own brand in your stores. By what sort of period of time? It's clear to us that, that there's more that we can do to make sure that we're targeting what we sell for our, our customers and what they know uh, and love John Lewis for. So whether that's about the, the quality or the style or the uh, fashionability of what we sell, we're really excited about some of the new uh, ranges that we've launched here. So uh, if you take over the last few years, we've, we've launched Andor, a, a denim lifestyle brand or modern rarity, a luxury ready-to-wear collection. We're really excited about the way that that has been received and the opportunity that's provided by us creating more of our own product. Is this a good time to be opening a store like this? I mean, the consumer outlook is not great right now. Look, consumer confidence is low and, and their behaviour is changing, but we still believe in physical space. Uh, we uh, think that there's, there's plenty of opportunity provided by, uh, ret for, for retailers who create unique product, brilliant services and a total solution for our customers, and that's what you'll experience here. I mean, are you making any assumptions on where disposable incomes are going to go this year? Look, I'm actually optimistic about the, the coming year. There's no doubt that retailers have to be at the very top of their game to succeed in conditions like this. But, but we're uh, thrilled about our current performance and indeed what we uh, expect to happen when we finally open the doors tomorrow.